A Lewis dot diagram or a Lewis dot structure is a representation of the valence electrons on an element. Dots are added around the symbol of the element to represent valence electrons. We first need to know the number of valence electrons on an element. To do this, we can look at an abbreviated electron configuration. For example, let's look at selenium's noble gas or abbreviated electron configuration. The larger numbers represent electron energy levels, and valence electrons are found on the highest energy level of an atom. In the case of selenium, this would be the fourth energy level. Selenium has two electrons in the 4s sublevel and four electrons in the 4p sublevel for a total of six valence electrons. Next, those six valence electrons need to be placed as dots around the symbol for selenium. Generally, there are four points where valence electrons are placed around an element symbol. When placing dots that represent valence electrons around a symbol, we place one on each side before pairing them up. This is done in part because of Hund's rule, which states that electrons prefer to be in separate orbitals before pairing up. This is a completed Lewis dot structure for selenium. Elements in the same group of the periodic table will have the same number of valence electrons, which makes them have similar looking Lewis dot structures. We can also use the periodic table as a tool for determining the number of valence electrons in an element. This is done based on the group or family that the element is in. Lewis dot structures can also be drawn to represent molecules. To do this, we start by drawing each element's separate Lewis dot diagram. Unpaired electrons from separate elements can come together to make a covalent bond. This is done so that each element in a molecule can meet the octet rule or have a full valence electron shell. When this happens, we change the two dots of the two elements to a line. This line represents a covalent bond where the two valence electrons are shared. A good Lewis dot structure should have all electrons in pairs, either in covalent bonds or lone pairs. The number of valence electrons in an element will dictate the number of bonds that are formed. For example, carbon with four valence electrons likes to make four covalent bonds, and phosphorus with five valence electrons likes to make three bonds and oxygen likes to make two covalent bonds with two lone pairs. Some atoms can even form multiple covalent bonds with the same element to meet the octet rule. In this molecule, after making a single covalent bond, there are still unpaired electrons. These atoms can continue to form covalent bonds until all atoms meet the octet rule.